It's time for Facts or Facts. Now, climate change isn't just disrupting our future, it's also threatening our past. And according to the National Trust for Historic Preservation, dozens of historic sites are at risk of being destroyed by climate-related problems like erosion and sea level rise. Here's just one example. Uh, established in 1607, Jamestown, Virginia was North America's first permanent English colony. Now the clock is ticking to save the historic site from sea level rise. Michael Lavin from the Jamestown Rediscovery Foundation is joining us. Uh, thanks for being with us this morning. Now you estimate you have about five years to save this site. What do you think will happen after we pass that five year mark? Well, we are experiencing uh, accelerated sea level rise and climate change that is having a very adverse effect to the island. And we've been um, advised by our engineers uh, that we have about a five-year window to start addressing these problems. So what is it about that five-year number? What, it, what it, are we at risk specifically to lose in those five years? Well, we are a, a world-class uh, archaeological program, and the archaeological resources on the rest of the island are at risk. And once we reach that tipping point, it's going to be ever uh, so more difficult to actually uh, mitigate for those issues. All right, so what have you done to protect the site so far? Well, we started our uh, campaign of Save Jamestown, and we've uh, addressed the seawall. Uh, seawall was uh, built uh, between 1901 and 1904, and we are adding a lot of uh, granite armor stone to that seawall. Uh, but that's a just the beginning of this process. We need to elevate buildings, elevate roads, uh, install berms, put in uh, new infrastructure systems. So it's it's a major, major project, multi, multi million dollar project. So it's a major project a lot of money, a lot of time, but how confident are you that we can save this site? I'm very confident. Uh, I've been at Jamestown for 27 years, so I've actually witnessed a lot of these changes, uh, although slow. Um, but we do have the data and we do have a lot of experience in the Tidewater uh, region of Virginia to actually address these issues. Um, and I'm pretty confident that we can save Jamestown for the next 50 years or more. All right, have you guys learned um, from maybe other sites, you know, in the country that have had this same threat um, and or are you going to share what you're doing and what you're learning to other sites? Uh, yes, we have learned from, from other sites, specifically in the Tidewater region, the Ohio Creek Project, most notably in Norfolk. Um, but yes, we're, we're very confident that we can, we can, uh, we can address this. All right, Michael Lavin from the Jamestown Rediscovery Foundation. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Uh, protecting our history is such an important mm -hmm. part of where we're going in the future. And the things that we can learn from protecting these sites, then we can pass along to others.